Hello again. Today we're going to start casting off and this is all in my book. All of these techniques that I've been showing you, you'll find in my book and you'll find stories to clothe it. So we're not just saying go in this way, wrap it around that way, but it will um, nourish the imagination and also be much easier for the student to remember, children or adults actually. So I do highly recommend this, available also in an ebook. Now I knitted just a little bit more than a square. I'm going to make a little brown bunny. You can see I measured for a square like that and then I did a couple more rows up top there just to make it a little bit longer. I checked it on the other side and that's a square with a couple more rows up top. Just a few. Now the story you'll find in the book has to do with frogs jumping over each other and I recommend you tell that perhaps a day before you start showing the child how to knit or the your, your person how to knit. You're going to knit two stitches onto the right needle, just regular knitting. And most people seem to get confused when you say just regular knitting, but there it is, just regular knitting. So under the fence, catch the sheep, slide him through and away he leaps. And now you have two here. So these are going to be frogs and they're on a leaf here. And there's only two of them. That's really important, only two. I'm going to straighten my needles out into a straight line. I'm going to duck this needle, well, not duck quack quack, but pop this needle under here. This hand is going to hold this stitch still, and I'm going to jump that little frog up and over. And here's the other important thing, he has to go splash and swim away. Because we know that if we took the needles out of the stitches, it would come undone. And this is a way to lock one stitch over the other. So here's a little frog on the leaf, he's lonely. He's going to invite another little friend over. Here he goes. Straighten the needles makes it much easier and keeping it super loose when you cast off is really important so you can get the needle in easily. Up and this finger has to hold that one still or they're both going to jump away. And over and let go. And it's really tricky after keeping them on the needles and concentrating for so long keeping them on the needles to then let go. But that's the way they get locked one over the other. One holds the other. Biting another little friend, this regular knitting. Straighten the needles, makes it easier. Up and over. Invite another little froggy friend to come and play on the leaf. Now some people want to use their fingers to pick this stitch up and over. That seems easier in the short run, but in the long run, if you use your needles, it's much smoother and easier. And it's one of the things about learning to knit as a child too, to use the tools, right? So human beings are gifted with hands and they're gifted with the hands and the mind that can make the tools. I would say knitting needles are one of the simplest forms of technology, actually, as we're on Zoom and online these days. Let's use the technology that we've made with our hands and let's learn to use it and not be mastered by it. So you'll see I'm going right along here all the way to the end. If you pause for a moment, you can see right here what it should look like, nice and smooth and even, maybe a little less even first time you do it, no worries. But you can see like the little frog's legs here, right? So here's one frog that's jumped, here's another frog swimming away and so on. And that's how you can count how many stitches you cast off. So here would be the first cast off stitch at the very end, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've cast off ten so far. So now I'm going to go to the, the rest and do go to the end. Here we go. Just keeping on, straightening the needles up and over. And you really do use your wrists in this too. It's really just not your fingers that you're using. Up and over nice and loose. There's a tendency to hold on to the stitches too tightly when you're casting off because again you know you don't want to let go of things that you've spent so much time figuring out but if you um, keep it nice and loose it keeps the shape of the, of the knitting really much more even. If you pull them tight it distorts the shape. So you want to keep these super super even and at the beginning, first time you do it, super loose. Err on the loose side. 
So we go up and over and I just have one stitch left here on the needle. Now to lock that one so the whole thing doesn't come undone, I actually pre-cut or pre-broke my yarn. I just happen to know how long, how much yarn it would take. And I'm going to pull this end through. So you can cut it off the ball at this point and just pull it through. Or you can make the stitch so big that the whole ball of yarn would, fill, would fit through, right? If you want to do that first, to be sure. Here goes the end. Just pull it nice and firm. And there it is. And these stitches will not come undone unless you want them to. Next video, I'm going to show you how to sew it together into a bunny.